Hello, in this video tutorial, I am going to discuss some common interview questions in Python. Okay, so these are the most frequently asked questions in Python. So without wasting time, let's get into it. So the very first question which I am going to discuss is how we can calculate the sum of the digits. Okay, for example, like, like suppose I have a number, for example, 243. So how can I sum the digits? For example, 2 plus 4 plus 3. Okay, so for doing that, first I will have to define a function. So for defining a function, I write def, okay, and sum underscore of underscore functions or func, okay. All right, sum underscore of underscore func. So why have I written sum of func? Because the name of the function should be such that it should tell us what is happening inside the function. Okay. So instead of writing sum of function, I can just write sum of digits as well. So sum of digits as well, I can write. All right. Now this function will take some parameter. So right now I have given the parameter n. Okay. I have taken it to be a variable instead of writing 243 because if I write 243 then the function will only work for the digit 243 but I want to do it for all the numbers okay and not particularly limited to one number so I'm writing uh, I'm giving a variable as a parameter and uh, that is why I have written n okay now we enter inside the function so for entering inside the function we will have to use a colon okay so colon is nothing but a gateway to a function so now I press enter and I get inside the function. So inside the function, I am writing my sum to be zero. Okay. So the value of my sum is initialized to be zero. So sum is basically like a container, empty container, which is not containing anything. So right now it is zero. Now we move on to the while loop. Okay. So while, and we will have to put some condition inside our while loop. So while n not equal to zero. Okay. While n not equal to zero while n not equal to 0 then again I put a colon and get inside my while loop so if n is not equal to 0 the value of sum will in okay it will become sum is equal to sum plus n percentage 10 n percentage 10 percentage is nothing but the modulus operator so if I divide the number 243 by 10 so what will it give me if I divide the number 243 by 10, I will get the last digit or the remainder, which is 3. Okay, so I will get 3. So 3 will be added to the sum. So right now my sum is 0. If I add 3, so the value of sum will become 3. Okay, moving on. I write n is equal to n divided by 10. Okay, and then we write return sum okay so what is happening basically see let's say i have taken a number the same number which i was discussing 243 so this 243 gets inside this function the value of sum is initialized to be zero n is not equal to zero okay because 243 is not equal to zero as we all know so it will get inside the while loop sum is equal to sum plus n percentage 10 n percentage 10 will give me the remainder which is 3 so the value of sum will become 3 now again the n is equal to as you all know is 243 so 243 divided by 10 if i divide 243 by 10 then what will be the answer the quotient the quotient will be 24 so the value of n now becomes 24 as soon as the value of n becomes 24 again it will go to the very first line of the function which is this sum of digits with the very first line okay and again it will come to this while loop Again, 23 is not equal to 0. Since 23 is not equal to 0, then again, it will move on to the next line. Sum is equal to sum plus n percentage 10. Now, if I divide 23 by 10, then again, I will get the value. Okay. Uh, uh, again, I'll get the va value. So, my initial number, let me add some comments line over here. Okay. Let me add some comment line. So, it will be easier for you to understand. So, initially, my number was 243. Okay. So in the very first sum is equal to sum plus n percentage 10, I get 3. Okay, I get 3. Now again, when I divide this number 243 by 10, I get 24. Again, this 24 is coming over here. And again, 
if I divide 24, 24 percent is 10 gives me 4. So 3 plus 4 I am getting over here. Then again, if I divide this 24 by 10, I get 2. So 2 is coming over here. Okay, and this function will run again and we get 2. So likewise, sum is equal, is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 3. It will happen like that. Okay, and then when the quotient will be equal to 0, then it will not enter inside the while loop and it will return as the sum. So the value of sum at that point of time will be 2 plus 4 plus 3. Okay, so return sum. Now, for calling this function, I will have to write sum underscore digit sum of underscore digit okay and inside let's take a number 243 only 243 okay it will work for any other number as well shift and enter to execute okay so there's some spelling error sum of digits shift and enter to execute we are getting 9 so how we are getting 9 2 plus 4 plus 3 is 9 okay if similarly if we try it for some other number for example let's take a big number okay shift and enter we are getting 28 because 5 plus 5 plus 7 plus 6 plus 5 if you calculate it will come up to be 28 okay so this was the very first important question which was asked in a data science interview moving on to a next question okay now we are moving on to the next question so in the next question i will be discussing a similar type of uh, uh, question. So in this question, instead of doing the sum, I want to calculate the product of the digits. Okay. So for example, if the number is 243, I want to calculate 2 into 4 into 3. Okay. So almost everything will remain the same, but uh, there are few changes. So let me write the code and then we will discuss what change we are going to do. Okay. So let me define a function. So define product underscore of underscore digits okay product of digits and again it will take a number so the number is n colon next line let me scroll down okay now as we see the difference i'm showing sum is equal to zero but over here i am not going to write product is equal to zero why because if i write product is equal to zero then over here I will have to write product is equal to product into n percentage 10. So if I do that, everything will become 0. If I multiply 0 with any number, it will become 0. So instead of writing product is equal to 0, I will have to write product is equal to 1. Okay. So I will have to write product is equal to 1. When I will show you the working of this sum, it will become more clear. Okay. Now we enter the while loop. So while n is greater than 0 okay while n is greater than 0 product is equal to product is equal to product multiplied by product multiplied by n percentage 10 so since it's a multiplication so we'll use a bracket n percentage or n modulus 10 okay and in the next line, we'll be writing n is equal to n divided by 10. Okay. And return product. Okay. Return product. So, now we will call this function product underscore of underscore digits and inside we can give any number so what will happen let's say the number 243 so 243 will enter this function right now the value of product is equal to 1 n is greater than 0 yes 243 is greater than 0 product is equal to product into n percentage 10 what is n percentage 10 243 if i divide it with 10 the remainder will be 3 okay so 3 multiplied by product product was 1 so 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 so the value of product becomes 3 now the value of n changes to earlier it was 243 now it will become 243 divided by 10 so what is the quotient the quotient is 24 so now n will become 24 and as soon as n becomes 24 this n will come again in the very first line so 
when it comes to the very first line again it will proceed and the value of product it is right now it is what it is uh, 3 okay now n is equal to uh, greater than uh, 0 24 is greater than 0 yes then it moves on to the second line and again 24 uh, percentage 10 24 modulus 10 it will give me the remainder the remainder will be 4 so earlier my product was 3 now 4 is getting multiplied so 4 into 3 we are getting and again it will happen it will proceed okay in the same way so uh, after doing it after doing it we will get 2 into 4 into 3 okay or more specifically we will get 3 into 4 into 2 okay so if i write the number 243 over here 243 if i write over here and i press shift and enter to execute okay there is some error let us check what is the error okay so okay so we are getting 24 why because 3 into 4 into 2 is 3 4 is a 12 12 2 is a 24 so we are getting 24 all right so i hope that this sum is clear to you now moving on to the next sum the next sum in the next sum we are going to discuss the we are going to discuss the count number of even and odd number in a list so suppose that there is a list okay there is a list and i want to count that how many numbers in the list are even and how many numbers in the list are odd okay so for doing that for doing that let's first make a list okay so for a list i will write l is equal to l is equal to we'll make a list and we'll take some numbers for example 2 4 5 6 2 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 7 7 12 15 okay so we have taken a list even is equal to 0 and odd is equal to 0 so both even and odd I have taken to be 0 I have initialized to be 0 okay now we will write a for loop so for i in range for i in range inside the range I will write 0 comma length of l colon next line we write a if statement that if l person if l inside i okay percentage 2 is equal to equal to 0 okay even is equal to even plus 1 else odd is equal to odd plus 1 okay all right then we will simply print it so print even and i want to also print the odd so print odd okay print even and print odd so it will count the number of even digits and it will count the number of odd, odd digits so let me show you the working of the this uh, function so basically let's start from the for loop so for i in the range 0 to length of l so what is the length of l if i count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so the length of l will be the number of elements inside the list so it will be 7 so from 0 to 7 if l uh, i percentage 2 equal to equal to 0 okay so if li the very first element is 2 so if 2 divided by 2 is 0 then obviously it is an even number if a number is divided by 2 and there is no remainder the remainder is 0 then it comes to the category of even number and if i divide a number and the there is some remainder so it will it is obviously an odd number 
so if number percentage to equal to equal to 0 even will increase the count of even will increase and if it is uh, not divided by 2 then the count of odd will increase okay this is how we increase this uh, i hope that you know how to increment okay so this is very easy function let me yeah so when i executed the output came to be 4 and 3 so let's check with the list how many even functions are there how many odd uh, how many odd numbers are there so the even numbers are 2 4 6 12 four even numbers so we are getting four correct and odd numbers are 5 7 and 15 so we are getting three correct okay so i hope that uh, these uh, three sums are clear to you these three pro programs are clear to you and i'm going to make a uh, few more videos and in those videos i'll be discussing few more important questions which were recently asked in uh, uh, in data science interviews so meet you in the next video tutorial thank you